Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to find the moment. In this case, we have a door that is being held by this piece of wood right here that's stuck underneath the door handle. The piece of wood is, is pushing back with a force of 45 pounds, and we want to find the moment caused by this force relative to point A. That's one of the hinges of the door right there. Notice the dimensions of the door. It's 71 inches from the bottom of the door to the hinge. It, the door is 32 in, inches wide like this. The door handle is two and a half inches away from the edge of the door. The wood here at the bottom, it's stuck underneath the door handle, but here it's four and a half inches away from the edge of the door and 24 inches away from the bottom of the door right there. The door handle is 30, 38 inches above the bottom of the door. So how do we calculate the moment? Well, the equation is that the moment relative to point A is equal to R cross F. In other words, the vector product between the position vector and the force causing the moment. So the position vector can be drawn from A to the door handle. So this here would be the position vector. And so we have to find the components of R. Notice that X is in the direction of the width of the door. Y is the vertical direction, and Z is away from the door. All right, so this is going to be equal to the matrix I, J, and K. Now the positions for, or the components for R. In the X direction, notice it will be from the edge of the door to the door handle. If the door is 32 inches wide, and this is two and a half inches, subtract two and a half from 32, you get 29 and a half inches. So the X component is 29.5. The Y component would be the difference of 71 inches from 32 inches. So that would be 33 inches, add 33 to this, you get 71, so that would be 33 in the J direction. Now notice it would be a negative 33 because it's from a higher position down to a lower position, so it would be a minus 33. And finally, in the k direction, you're going to get zero because it's along the x-y plane. So you get zero for the direction in the z direction. All right, or the component in the z direction. How about the components of the force? Well, notice we need to find the, hmm, what we call it, the cosine, the direction cosines. So how do we find the direction cosines of the force? Well, let's see here. The direction cosines will be proportional to the x, y, and z components relative to the overall length of that vector. So if we do the length proportion to the force, what we can say is that the direction cosine in the, uh, direction cosine in the x direction, or relative to the x-axis, can be found by taking the x distance of that vector and divided by the total length of the vector. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, notice we're going to take the length of that piece of wood and call that L, and then call the X, Y, and Z components of that length of piece of wood and multiply that ratio to the force to find the X component, the Y component, and Z component of the force. Well, if you didn't quite get that, let me show you what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to get the length of that piece of wood, and the length of the piece of wood is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of that length in the X, Y, and Z direction. Notice, in the x direction, we go from 4.5 inches away from the edge of the door to 2.5 inches. So the difference between those two is 2 inches, so the x component would be 2, and we have to square that, plus. Okay, the y direction, we go from the ground to the door handle, which is 38 inches, so we call that 38, and we square that. And in the z direction, there's going to be, oh yes, there's going to be 24 inches in the z direction, so 24 squared. And so the length of that piece of wood is going to be equal to, uh, let's see here, we have, that's 4 plus 38 square plus 24 square equals, take the square root, and we get exactly 44.99, and eh, we'll call it 45. So it would be 45 inches, rounded off to the nearest inch. Okay, so that's the length of that. So what we can say now is that the direction cosine for x is equal to x over L, which is equal to the difference between 4.5 and 2.5, which is 2 divided by 45. The direction cosine in the y direction is equal to 38 divided by 45. And the direction cosine in the z direction is equal to 24 divided by 45. 
which means that we can now find the x, y, z components of the force. So the force in the x direction, meaning the x component of the force, it's acting in a positive x direction, so it would be 45 pounds multiplied times the direction cosine. That would be 2 over 45. Of course, the 45s cancel out, which would be 2 pounds. The force in the y direction is equal to, notice the force in the y direction would also be positive. Yep, that's the upward direction, so it would be 45 pounds times the cosine of the direction cosine, which is 38 over 45. The 45s cancel out, so that gives us 38 pounds, and the component in the z direction is equal to 45 pounds times the direction cosine is 24 over 45. The 45s cancel out, that gives us 24 pounds. So we can see that the x, y, and z components of the force are 2 pounds, 38 pounds, and 24 pounds, which goes in here. And let's see here, is all that in the positive direction? No, it turns out the z component is in the negative z direction. So that gives us a positive 2, a positive 38, and a negative 24. Now we're ready to find the moment relative to point A. Okay, so give myself a little bit more room. So this is equal to the I times, so we have minus 33 times a minus 24 minus 0 times 2 minus the J component times 29.5 times a minus 24 minus 0 times 2. It'll be 0 times this component. And I'm still running out of room. That would be plus the K component times 29.5 times 38. 29.5 times 38 minus a minus 33 times 2. All right. So working those out, this is equal to, in the I direction, we have 33 times 24 minus zero. That gives me 792. Of course, the units would be pounds for force and inches for distance. That would be pounds times inches, inch pounds, inch pounds. Okay, here we have a minus. Let's see, the minus stays there, times. We have, this will be a minus component, minus zero. So minus times a minus make this a plus. So we have 29.5 times 24, we get 708. And again, that would be inch pounds. And here we have plus the K component times 29.5 times 38. Minus times a minus is plus, plus 66. And we get 1187 inch pounds. And that would then be the moment caused by that force relative to point A, the top hinge on the door. And that's how we find moments.